a guide to the cost of moving for home buyers. Today I outline the costs and fees associated with buying a property so that you can budget for your next move. Buying a home can be an exciting prospect, but often in the thrill of the search, buyers fail to budget for some of the costs that are part and parcel of the process. Consumer Champion Witch estimates moving costs on average £10,000, that's excluding the deposit, although this figure varies depending on the value of the new property. By starting with a clear picture of all the fees you're likely to incur, you can avoid any last minute surprises and the indignity of raiding your toddler's money box to pay the removal crew on moving day. Here's a checklist of moving relating costs. First up is stamp duty. This is a tier tax. The more expensive the property, the more you pay. And due to the pandemic, temporary changes are in place, meaning stamp duty does not apply to the first half a million of a property purchase, but this rule ends on the 31st of March 2021. Legal fees. The cost of conveyancing. That's the paperwork that secures the legal transfer of property. And this varies depending on whether you're buying a freehold or leasehold property. Expect leasehold to cost a little bit more. And here's a tip. When you're getting conveyancing quotes, check the final price includes VAT, search fees and land registry fees. You should also check Google reviews. Next up, valuation fee. If you're taking out a mortgage, your lender will insist on a valuation to ensure that you're not paying over the odds for your new home. Mortgage fees. Some mortgage deals include an arrangement fee or application fee or even both. Survey fees. Different types of surveys are available. The most basic option should be a few hundred quid, while the most comprehensive survey can cost thousands of pounds. Insurance. Most lenders insist on building insurers as part of the terms of the mortgage. It covers the cost of repairing your home in the event of a disaster such as a flood, fire or falling tree. Removals. Removal costs cost vary depending on how far you're going and how much stuff you have. Are you a minimalist hoarder? Beware. The website comparemymove.com estimates it costs £800 to move belongings from a three bed house to a property 50 miles away. Throw in another £250 for pa packing and materials, don't forget. Next up's redirection of mail. If you're planning on redirecting your mail to a new address, not such a bad idea in this area of identity fraud, Royal Mail charges £80 for 12 months. The team at Oliver James can ensure your move goes smoothly. If you need any advice or have any questions about moving process, please get in touch. We're always here to help. Keep well and I'll catch you on the next one.